Hi Pisces, this is your reading with me for uh, the 24th to the 30th of January. So we're going to see what's coming through in the week. I also have the cards ready to go along with tarot. Before I start though, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do giveaways every single month. Personal services, personal readings are also listed down below as well. And of course, there are the intention manifesting items on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, which thousands of people have seen results with. So there are thousands of five-star reviews, um, which you can go to the bottom of my website to check out. There's manifesting items for so many areas of your life. And then of course, there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, um, ornaments, uh, crystals, candles, sage bundles, so many items um, which people have seen results with. So everything's linked down below and a lot of notifications coming, interestingly enough, actually on the shop. So let me just put the phone away. <laughs> Speaking of the shop, notifications from the shop. Okay, so let's begin and see what's coming through um, for you Pisces for this particular week. I've got tarot here and I've also got these cards which I was just so drawn to using for the water sign readings. I don't know why but it just happened so let's have a look and then I'm going to clarify these cards with the tarot. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so there's a situation here where you feel like you cannot express yourself fully. You cannot express yourself authentically. You could have fear around this. You may feel that if you express yourself, you might lose a certain person, a certain situation or a certain task or project. And the guidance and the advice really coming from the Oracle cards to begin with is express yourself more clearly. And it also says here as well, temporary. So if you're in a separation right now, if you feel confused, if you feel like you don't even know how to act around a certain situation or person, it's clearly showing that this situation is temporary. However, it is important to be yourself. It is important to express in the way that you express because that is you, right? You don't want to emotionally invalidate your own emotions just because you're trying to protect someone else. Remember this quote, which by the way, I don't even remember who said it, it's, it's online. Um, and I'm sure we can hopefully figure out exactly the person that said it, but it was something along the lines of don't set yourself on fire trying to keep someone else warm. And that basically implies here, try not to hurt yourself by trying to really protect someone else in that way. And it's not um, an egoistic thing. It's, it's not like um, one of those quotes that's like selfish, right? But you don't want to put yourself on fire just to keep someone warm. You, you know, that that's a really like difficult um, situation that's like really hurting yourself. And so this is very important. Okay, so we'll get some tarot cards, of course, to clarify. There we freaking go. <laughs> wow, the cards really have spoken, you know, literally just what I have been saying <laughs> came out with that last card. I should have turned it over, but you know, um, <laughs> it is what it is. There you go. There you go. I, I just had a feeling that you speaking your truth, you being yourself, you know, is going to help you tremendously this week and it's going to make you feel better. The situation is temporary and I don't think that it's hindered by something that you've necessarily said. And you might think to yourself, yeah, but Moonlight, I said this thing and then that's when things became stagnant. Yeah, but I also believe it's how they've interpreted things. I also believe it's how they have kind of overreacted at times to certain things as well. Keep in mind, there was a Mercury retrograde before this week and there is a shadow period of the Mercury retrograde also on this week as well. So if you felt like you said something and it was taken out of context or you feel like the other person was you know triggered by something and it kind of made this connection stagnant um, or the situation stagnant it's partly because they've misunderstood things with the retrograde and it's a temporary situation so please don't blame yourself and feel like it's only because you spoke up you would have most likely said those things at any other point and I think that they would have maybe handled things a bit more differently um, so that's another thing but there you go. The cards clarified themselves, literally. <laughs> all I did was just, you know, <laughs> talk and talk and talk. And then this one was like, speak up. And it was like, okay, all right. <laughs> At least you can see how I work as a reader where what I say does get reflected in the cards. Um, so like the video for that, you know, <laughs> it shows me that, you know, you then can kind of see that. All right. 
Well, I think that the Oracle cards pretty much clarified themselves. What I will say is that you've got here the King of Pentacles, which clearly goes to show that more stability is going to enter your life this week. You'll find yourself feeling a lot more stable in situations that perhaps were quite challenging. You didn't know where you stand. You don't really know what was happening, what was going on and where things were sort of heading. Now you feel a lot more confident in regards to where things are going and how things are opening up for you. We've got the Hanged Man, which is obviously very, very significant. The Hanged Man energies are such which are to do with Neptune and that is to do with your soul's journey, spirituality and your dreams are going to be very very heightened this particular week okay you will be in your head a lot but it's okay if you meditate and take care of yourself and try to nurture yourself with self-care and self-love, okay, and try to validate your emotions, this is key, okay, if you're suppressing yourself and you feel like you can't speak up and say something because you you, you don't want to hurt the other person or, you know, I, I can understand, but also make sure you're not emotionally invalidating yourself in the process because that is going to make you ruminate, overthink and worry so much more. It's going to create so much more anxiety and stress, obviously. You know, the main thing here is speak up when you you know that it's important to protect yourself that is going to help you tremendously okay and yeah self-love self-care all of that's going to help as well this situation is very much so temporary in the sense of the not so great stuff happening in regards to it king of swords here shows that some kind of truthfulness can also come forward this is also you speaking up and being yourself we've got two very powerful kings king of swords king of pentacles this is important because actually mentally and emotionally you're going to find yourself actually really feeling like, you know what, I can be myself and why why do I have to like keep things on hold just because of this? You know, it's it's a sense here of actually realizing that you've got so much to offer, you're so kind and caring and empathic and genuine that you don't have to suppress yourself just to keep someone else afloat maybe they should do, you know, some of their own inner work so that they can also do that. Because it's true, you can't heal someone else. You can help someone else 100%, but there's only so much you can help someone until it starts to then like emotionally really, really overwhelm and affect you. And I think that's something you're realizing here is that you can really try and help people, but to a degree, they also have to help themselves. So that's another thing. But yeah, this situation here is, is like um, the the it going wrong part is only temporary and I do see here a resolve here between the two of you so even if this is for example a business partner even if this is a friend you know or a family member you may have had an argument you may feel like you can't really say anything because they're just going to go off or if it's a lover okay it will be resolved it will be resolved it's okay to speak your mind but of course you know um this week it's okay to be a little bit more diplomatic, but if you find yourself feeling like you have to be diplomatic and it's just hurting you, it's okay to speak up, you know what I mean? So what I would say is that, um, yeah, you can kind of keep the peace, but make sure you're not keeping the peace to the point where it's just hurting you. So yeah, there's a, I think there's a specific way, obviously, to kind of do this, which is pretty significant um, and very, very important as well. And that is literally what we have right there interesting very very interesting let's keep going i like the king and the queen of pentacles there i think that that really goes to show you there's a like a resolve okay because the situation has kept you feeling quite emotionally guarded as well um, and here we have the resolve here there's some communication and balance here also two of wands is the ability to focus on other things in your life, be it tasks and responsibilities and not just getting completely consumed by this one thing because there are many more other things in life for you to bring focus to. Um, I, I don't want to emotionally invalidate, you know, what you're doing this week. But yeah, I mean, you know, you think about it that this is one layer to the many things. But for some of you, this could be the only thing you focus on. But, but it's not the only thing, right? That's, that's important. Um, Three of Cups here is a social energy. Um, it's also this ability to kind of like click and things like that. Now, if you have a karmic, if you are dealing with someone who is dealing with someone else, it's interesting because actually this week they can have some major realizations and realize actually that they are not, you know, happy in their own situations and things like that. Now that's only going to resonate with very few of you, not everyone. Okay. Speaking of which, you've got three of pentacles here, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work 
Four of Swords is interesting because this is about giving yourself some space and time, meditating, resting, retreating, looking after yourself. And the Knight of Cups here shows that this energy will come to you, okay? The Knight energy comes to you. So the main thing here is to take care of yourself and to realize that you don't need to be setting yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. You actually being your authentic self is going to help tremendously the connections around you, the people around you and how they are towards you. The more you feel like you have to set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm, the more they will expect you to set yourself on fire. Keep that in mind, okay? So patterns can also evolve. And so we want to break that cycle, right? You you don't want to keep doing that. So I think that's very important as well. So um, yeah, this is an amazing affirmation to comment down below. I will not set myself on fire to keep someone else warm. Um, that's that's quite significant. So of course, you know, comment that down below. I think it's a it's a really great thing also for people to kind of um, look at. You know, when they go down in the comment section below, it's it's very powerful. All right. So if this resonated or if you claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, which of course are on my website, and also um, the TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> the TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every single day, which you can check out on there. So um, yeah, feel free to do so, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.